right, so here he is, the inimitable former UFC champion, Yuri Prohaska. And I say former, but never lost the belt in the Octagon. 13 consecutive wins when injury intervened. Yuri Prohaska is an absolute savage. This is a guy that made his way to the UFC in a very short period of time, became the champion. He has tremendous power. He has an uncanny ability to find the shot that ends his opponent's night. He's scary. He is a true mixed martial artist, or martial artist, as I say, with the mind of a champion. And it's very exciting to see Yuri Prohaska back in the octagon. And I'm glad you bring up the championship mindset, because anyone who may be doubted as to whether or not he had the ticker, you got your answers in Singapore at UFC 275. Let's see how it goes for Prohaska here tonight. rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> vaulted to superstardom and the UFC Hall of Fame as quickly as this two-division champion, Alex Pereira. His heart and soul is the striking, best striker in this division, and a lot of power is going to be coming his opponent's way here tonight. Oh, here we go. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes, not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Doubles up on the jab. Nice defense there, huge block. Been there all night. There's 
Here's another one by Pro Huska. Well, you can spot that wide base, that stance of Yuri Prohaska from a mile away. His opponent didn't see that right hand coming. Yeah, that right hand is, is tremendous from Yuri Prohaska. But that right hand starts with that wide base, with his ability to draw out your mistake, and then he always capitalizes on it. jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Prohaska gets tattooed by that straight punch. Gets up to beat his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Back to the left. Oh! Oh, no! Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. to go in a back and forth first round here. Big shot lands for both guys. Prohaska's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Pereira. Right, late in the round here, and there is that patented upright stance out of Alex Pereira. He has gotten a lot done out of that stance tonight. I mean, it's the striking, and it always will be the striking. He's very tall in his stance, but he's in a more traditional kickboxing type of stance. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite. Oh, flying knee. Prohaska's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. 20 seconds to go in round one. Nice punch, man. More than one, more than one. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Over, he got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two.
Phillips with the punch there. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. You always talk about his fight. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt, the kill shot. Big, big strikes continue to land. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Pro Oscar. Oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. Oh, right into mouth. Nice potato getting work from the top here. He's gotta do a better job to cover up. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. This lands to the body. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, and you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final bell. Under three minutes to go round two. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh! That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That one connected. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Nice jab. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Under 90 seconds to go. Beautiful kick lands. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Whoa! Oh, big diamond punch to the head. One minute to go, round two. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Get the ball here. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut, try to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching a dude who's already wide open. Like, you got really excited. It is, right? And I'm old now. I don't even want to fight no more, but I, I do love uh, a little damage. You know? 15 seconds. For Hoskins, oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. What a fight so far. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. 
All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Third round on the way. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connection. Oh, he heard him. Oh, right hand. Straight right hand, no good. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Prohaska's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You oh! He hurt him bad. and then you hit me back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. Back to his feet. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Prohaska gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Well, he blocked that one. With a huge knockout tonight. What a fight! What a fight! Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, eight seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, Alex Poetai.